Okay, so when making a viewfinder, here are the supplies that you're going to need. One 5x7 sheet of cardstock paper, a grid with a rule of thirds, a small template, sharpie marker, scissors, and a roll of tape. Let's get started. Take your little 5x7 sheet of paper, you're going to fold it over, otherwise known as hamburger style. Make sure the opening is on the right side. Take your small template, put it towards the middle. Remember, opening is on this side. Small template's on the inside. Take a pencil or a pen. Trace the little template. Set that aside. Take your scissors. Cut along the edge that you just made. Open up your 5x7 sheet of paper and you're going to see an interior rectangle. You're then going to take your transparency, you're going to line it up with the edges. Take some tape. Gonna tape it down along the edges. Next thing you're gonna do, and this is very important, turn your viewfinder over and please write your name. Viewfinder. And done. In your sketchbook, skip at least one page. You are then going to take the template, trace it three times, I'm going to do two vertical, one horizontal. These are the areas where your thumbnails are going to be drawn. Using a viewfinder is quite simple. All you need to do is hold it up to your still life. My still life happens to be a cup of pens, a pair of scissors, and a roll of tape. All you need to do is look through your viewfinder to find an area of the composition that touches at least three sides. We have the rule of thirds as our grid. To make your composition more interesting, you want to make sure objects fall along the lines on the grid. Because this is a vertical composition, it might be easier to start out vertically. Again, you want areas that are of much interest to actually be on the line. So if you look at the center of the scissors, you can see that's pretty much where my view is and this still life does touch at least three sides.
It is never easy to look at a still life in three dimensions. The viewfinder actually helps you create two-dimensional space within the three-dimensional world. By looking through the viewfinder, it actually creates an illusion that you are just looking at a piece of paper, even though technically you are not. There is one trick to using a viewfinder. You must figure out which eye you are dominant. In order to do that, hold your pencil in front of your face. Look at it with both eyes open. Close one eye. Open that eye. Close the other eye. Open that eye. You are going to notice that the image is going to shift. Keep doing this until you figure out which eye is the dominant eye. The dominant eye is the one in which the image does not move. Once you have found your dominant eye, you are going to close your non-dominant eye, the other eye, while looking through your viewfinder. I am right eye dominant, so I am closing my left eye. I am looking through the viewfinder at my still life. My viewfinder is showing me where to place the objects within my composition. On our grid, which is the rule of thirds, remember to make the more interesting objects on those lines. The scissors are directly on one of my lines. Top part of the scissors starts out here and goes down. The edge of the cup is right about here. The other side of the scissors, right about there. And here's the edge of the cup, right there. And there goes my light. Cup comes down. Here's my roll of tape. Flat edge. And a curve. To leave room. Inside the scissors is a small opening. Same on the other side. Okay, and that is roughly my still life. You're gonna notice that I have negative spaces and not one giant area of negative space, nor do I have one giant area of the positive image. You are then going to shade in the negative space. 